Hey folks, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here, one trailer at a time. Today, we're gonna to look at a 2021 Grand Design Solitude, model number 375 RES. Five slides, lifted rear entertainment, living room area, sunken in kitchen, dinette area, and a front bedroom. Weighs around 15,000 pounds. Got a whole lot of options. You know what else has a whole lot of options? My friend Brandon Hannah Meyer on the camera today. Hey everyone, how's it going? If you don't mind liking and subscribing, we'd appreciate it. Fantastic. Right on. A little more oomph next time, Brandon. Right here at the front, we got our more ride pin box. That's going to shift three inches front to back. Really help us out with our trucking. In the front here, we have a rougher style storage. This particular one has the generator prep, okay, with the box and the wiring all ready to go. Then your battery in a box is going to go over there on the other side. We have hydraulic six point auto leveling. And the controls for that are right in through here. We've got an outside kitchen on this one, and that's kind of going to slide into this area. So we don't have a lot of passenger storage in the front, but it more than makes up for it with the with the storage at the back. We're going to get to water filtration system, gate valves, low point drains, city water connection, black water flush kit, outside shower, winterize, all that done from in here. 12 gallon gas electric water heater, furnace vent. 50 amp service, that's a detachable style service, 50 amp service right there. Our uh, fridge vents are right here. Nice kitchen window, that's gonna make a difference on the inside. And then look at all this storage here at the back. So we got lots of pass-through storage in through there. We have another door over here for a little bit of our shallower stuff. And then we got the morgue tray here at the back. Then we can just roll this in and out make those larger items really easy and uh, easy to get to there. Roof ladder, get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. Pop this down. Around the door side here, we have the other side of that pass-through storage we looked at. We got Cooper tires on this guy, more ride suspension underneath, which is gonna match up really well with our more ride pin box. This is our dinette slide, pulling our dinette off the floor with this huge window here facing our site. This particular one has slide toppers on it. That's an option, but it's on this particular one. We have our main awning and our only awning right here, covering up our wicked outside kitchen. This is an option on this particular one. It's awesome. We got a great prep area right through here. We have our uh, uh, like our gas uh, griddle right here. We have a sink that's plumbed right in. And then inside that store is there to your left. You're gonna see our central vac hookup. Uh, or you can drain that, to drain, drain this the central vac. Empty the central vac right from there. Right on, let's have a look inside. Right on folks, we're inside that Solitude 375 RES. You've taken one step up there into the front bedroom area, looking towards the rear of the trailer. Come through the kitchen dining. We're gonna step up here. All that's underneath us here is that huge pass-through storage we saw. But you can see I'm six feet tall, still lots of height in through here. We have uh, a main AC here. We have a central AC there and then another AC in the bedrooms. So There's three ACs on this bad guy. Um, you know, three couches too, which is, which is awesome, right? So both these are pull-out style couches. They both open up and you can have individual beds here. Towards the front, we have our fireplace. Uh, we've got the blue little flames there going for you. And then on either side, we have storage with cupboard space. We also have a televator. Where's the switch, Brandon? Ooh. Great question, hey buddy? I'm gonna, you have that bottom right cabinet. Bottom right? I don't know, man. No. Nope. No, it's not. There's oh, no way. Oh, I know. What do you think? Right in here. Next to the word. Awesome. So let's get the televator going. It's gonna lift up. And this will cover that rear window, right? But then when you put it down, you get that nice back view. Um, there, you know that, how that works. That's cool. And then the radio's in through here with some more storage across the top. Okay? Now flipping around. Our theater seats here, these are electric recliners, so they're going to recline there nicely for you. They're also heat and massage, and we got a spot here you can store your remotes. And I like this little shelf here. We have a receptacle down there as well. I like this because they've added this curtain over the last couple of years that really can separate this off and turn this into a secondary bedroom. Before we head down though, we've got this nice little lift up spot here for some hidden storage. Dropping down into the kitchen dining area. They've really upgraded the uh, the countertops uh, since last year. Nice thick countertops. We have undermount uh, LED light there. Black faucet here. Spray, spray port, of course. 
And then the undermount sink with a little bit of a divider down there just to make it easier for doing dishes. Okay, real countertops are here. Built into the island, we've got a couple more drawers. Okay, and that's some storage right through here. Okay, further into our hutch area. I confused you, buddy, you good? Yeah, we're good. Right on. Uh, you're gonna put your appliances here because we do have a receptacle up in, through this area, USB, some drawers, cupboards, and I feel like this is a fake cupboard. Yeah, because that's where your breakers and your fuses are. Looking up, some more storage in through there. A pantry's off to the side. All right, a garbage can's thrown in through there. This, these shelves here are set back. It's probably a good spot to put your broom. All right, and we got our 18 cubic foot gas electric fridge. It, it is an option to get a residential fridge, but we have the gas electric one on this guy. Regular uh, microwave, they got rid of the convection oven when they went to this upgraded new Insignia oven down below. So you can do whatever you want through there and you're literally cooking with gas, four burner stove top, real full size oven through there. Got more drawers, cupboards, and then look at all these drawers in through here. storage here and then yeah you could put a TV here so you got a TV in the kitchen area my grandma used to have that big fan storage through there we haven't talked about the dinette <clears throat> we've got two st uh, regular chairs here and two folding chairs so a lot of people put the two folding chairs under the bed and then keep the two regular ones out uh, but you can do what you want and we have this leaf that's gonna pop up gives us a little more extension you have to put that leaf down for when you bring the slide it in it's really important and then notice there's no carpet here right if they kind of bridge this gap here nicely with a loose laid uh, linoleum up into the bedroom this floor plan as opposed to a front living room floor plan you have nice easy access to the washroom the main washroom right from the side of the road solid surface here in this main washroom okay undermount stainless steel sink medicine cabinet and then two lower pieces down through here okay squat check what do you think Brandon I think you have tons of them. Yeah? Do I look good here, buddy? Yeah, pretty good. Thanks, man. <laughs> Some storage in through there. Now, check this out. The height of the shower is roughly the same height of the floor. So that's going to give us, you know, e first off, it's easy to get in here. And then we get lots of height over through here. I'm six feet tall, like I said. Easy peasy to get in here. Spot to store my soaps. Spot to spray my body. You know, nice uh, shower head there with the wand. Love it. And then this real teak seat right in through here. This might be banac wood, Brandon. Banac? You've sort of banac? Fantastic. Awesome. Out of the bathroom into the bedroom. Thanks for being the door for me, buddy. Third AC up and through here. King bed out in the slide. Nice bedside tables, rece uh, receptacles on both sides, USB on both sides, windows on both sides. And there's a window right there that does, does not open, just brings in some nice natural light. That's a nice window. And then we got this front closet. We'll pop it up all the way. All right, get in there, Brandon. Fantastic. And then we have a dresser here. Some more storage, drawers underneath, TV, and then this whole front closet here for our washer dryer. Bingo, bango. Awesome possum. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, share that with your friends. You can email us here at sales at lazyacres.com or you can call us at 705-833-2539. Have a good day.